In this video, we're going to prove the class equation. Uh, it says if you have a finite group, G, and you suppose that uh, these little guys here, uh, A sub 1 through A sub K, are the representatives of the conjugacy classes that have size greater than 1, then the order of G is equal to the order of the center of G plus uh, these guys here, right? These are the orders of the conjugacy classes uh, whose size is greater than 1. And if that's not clear, uh, recall that the order of G is equal to the index of the centralizer of an element A sub I in G times the order of the centralizer. And in a previous video, we showed that this is the number of conjugates of A sub I. So this is the number of conjugates of A sub I. So if you divide both sides by the order of the centralizer, you get that the order of G divided by the order of the centralizer is this index here, which happens to be the number of conjugates of A sub I. In other words, it's the order of the conjugacy class of A sub I. Okay, let's go ahead and prove this uh, beautiful, beautiful equation. So proof. So the motivation for the proof m should be reminiscent of perhaps the proof of Lagrange's theorem. Uh, when we prove Lagrange's theorem, we have cosets, and cosets are equivalence classes under a special relation, and we take our group and we write our group as a union of these equivalence classes. Well, conjugacy classes are also equivalence classes, so the goal here to start the proof is to write G as a union of conjugacy classes. So we've already got the conjugacy classes that have size greater than 1. Let's write down the ones that are singletons, the ones that have size 1. So let b sub 1 dot 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 uh, b sub r be the representatives, so representatives of the conjugacy classes of the conjugacy classes that have size 1, so that have size 1. And, and for notation, uh, we need um, some notation for the conjugacy class. So let C of x uh, denote the conjugacy class of x. So denote the conjugacy class class of x. So this will be the conjugacy class of x. So then, because conjugacy classes are equivalence classes, uh, we can write G as a disjoint union of its conjugacy classes. So it'll be the conjugacy class of B sub 1 union uh, dot 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 union the conjugacy class of B sub R union, and then now we'll write down the conjugacy classes whose size is greater than 1. So the conjugacy class of A sub 1, union, dot, 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 union, the conjugacy class of A sub k. And now we'll just take the order of both sides of this equation. Right? So the order of G is equal to well, if you take the order of this union, it's just the sum of the orders because the union is disjoint. So this is the order of the conjugacy class of B sub 1 plus dot 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 plus the order of the conjugacy class of B sub R plus the order of the conjugacy class of A sub 1 plus dot 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 plus the order of the conjugacy, conjugacy class of A sub K. And from a previous result, uh, in a previous proof, uh, we said that uh, the element, uh, let's use b sub i, is in the center of G, if and only if the conjugacy class of the element b sub i is the singleton b sub i. So in other words, the center of G is the set of all of these representatives. So it's just these guys, and there's R of them. 
right? So this is 1 plus dot 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 plus 1 plus, by a previous result, uh, this is the order of G divided by the order of the centralizer plus dot 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 plus the order of G divided by the order of the centralizer. And this is because, so this is this, and this is by this, right? We proved this earlier. This is the number of conjugates of a sub i. This is the order of the conjugacy class of a sub i, which is equal to this, because this is the index, right? Um, the center of g contains these guys, and there's r of them. So this is right here. This right here is just the order of the center. And these guys remain the same, the order of g divided by the order of the centralizer plus dot 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 plus the order of g divided by the order of the centralizer. And just to recap, remember each of these guys, this is the order of the conjugacy class of a sub k, which is exactly this, which is the same thing as the index of the centralizer of a sub k in G, which was proven in a previous video. So it's a pretty easy proof, but you need to prove a lot of things to get here. Uh, I hope that made some sense.